Hey guys, today we are talking about sensory activities and super simple DIY sensory activities that you could do at home for super cheap and super fast and keep your kids really engaged. Let's do it. is super important to developing minds with toddlers and babies. Research has shown it helps build nerve connections in the brain's pathways to complete more complex activities. Sensory play usually stimulates the five senses and is a great way for kids to play with natural exploration. So use whatever you have in the house. As you'll see in the activities that I did, most of everything is household items that I've used. Sensory play also enhances memory. And for children that do suffer with sensory issues, this does help them because some of these activities can be very calming to them. It also helps develop language and motor skills. So I'm gonna show you my favorite DIY sensory activities that my kids love, keep them busy, and is super cheap. One of the first ones is going to be an oil and water bag. I'm gonna show you. I would usually use baby oil, but right now, I don't know why, all the stores are sold out of baby oil. So I just used coconut oil. I just took a serving spoon, did a heaping serving, and I'm gonna heat it up in the microwave till it liquefies. Here it is liquefied. It was a couple pieces floating, but I'm not gonna worry about it. This went in the microwave for 30 seconds. I put some in a small bag and you could see that they can play with this. You can tape this down and let them play with it. Really calming activity and again, super simple. Coconut oil or baby oil is preferable water, and food coloring. That's it. To set up the sensory bin with the water beads, I picked up these water beads from Amazon. They look like this. You're just gonna take one teaspoon. And three cups of water. This is gonna soak overnight and these beads will blow up tomorrow. And then I'm going to stuff in all these little characters so the boys can find them. And then I have three big ones. So I'm gonna put them in three separate bins and then the boys can have a treasure hunt in the water beads. Water beads. Yeah, so the twins are about to play with their water beads. <laughs> So like I said, I have these little pieces that we're gonna stick in and they're gonna have to find. Hold on. I'm gonna stick a couple pieces in. You're gonna have to find the pieces. You want the boat? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Alex, let me have yours. Okay, what are we finding? And cheese. Rocky. Rocky. You gotta go digging, find all your characters. Oh. Oh. oh, it's fire truck. The water beads are great sensory play. They take about six to ten hours. I will say last night oh. I did double. Oh. It's okay, Alex, just pick it up. I did double the recipe this morning because I didn't like as many beads as it was. So yes, I did double it. Like water balloons. Yep. So I want you to tell me, how does it feel? Tyler, how does it feel? Cool. Shh, yeah. I'm asking Tyler. Good job, Ty. What, how else does it feel? Is it hard? Is it soft? Is it hard or soft, Alex? Soft. Very good. Yeah. Soft. Ty, Ty, are they hard or soft? Yeah. They're soft. Oh, the bad Chicoletta. Can you find, tell me anything else about them? What? They're like water balloons. You're silly. Tyler, are they dry or are they wet? Very good, Tyler. They're wet. Try to bump up that sensory with your preschoolers. Cameron wouldn't be able to answer those questions yet. Cameron finally woke up and he's... Chickaletta. Chickaletta. And he is trying to find all the pieces that I stuck in the water beads. You can put Chickaletta here. 
If you can't tell, my kids are Paw Patrol obsessed. This one over here is pouring them all in a bowl. That's Chase's car. If you have one kid, you can put them all in one big bin and let them explore. I just happen to have three small bins, and that just worked for today's project since it was all rainy. These are our rice sensory bins. I just took random things from around the house, and I put them in with the rainbow rice. Now, the rainbow rice is actually really easy to make. It's vinegar, water, and food coloring. I will give you the recipe for that below. It's a great tactile feel for them. Then you have the rainbow colors that help them, and they get to pour it in all the little things that they have. Now, since I have three boys, I will let them switch which items they have, because inevitably they will fight over them. Alex, what does that look like? What does it look like in there? It kind of looks like ice cream, right? With sprinkles. Rainbow rice is a ton of fun. I put the trays down just to make it a little bit less messy, although it is going to get a little messy because it is small rice and they're gonna get it all over the place, but it sweeps up really easily. I put the rice in a little bag when we're done, a Ziploc bag, seal it up, and it stays in our craft drawer. That's okay. Take all these household items you have around the house. This is a pamper chip ice cream cone, a funnel, spoons, tongs. Share. How do you share? Ty, can he please have it real quick? Yeah. Good sharing. What do you say, Alex? Thank you, Ty. You're a good sharer. He gets it and then you get it back. And while they're playing, it's time for a coffee break. Cammy's got a nice little bruise on his nose from face planting off the swing yesterday. Uh huh. Yeah, he did. Uh huh, he did. And then it was blood. No, <laughs> there was blood. Lovely. What do you do when someone's hurt? Um, it's called an ambulance. You call an ambulance. Oh, we went to town to the pool and it rained. It rained, yeah. Okay, so as you saw, Cameron made a big mess. <laughs> so be prepared. Toddlers are going to be toddlers and messes happen. It's okay. Sweep it up. No big deal. It actually sweeps up really easily. Takes a couple seconds. Hit it with the vacuum. Done. The next sensory activity is a pom-pom obstacle course. I bought these pom-poms from Amazon. I picked these because they had a bigger pom-pom and I just thought that would be better. The first one is a simple obstacle course. They just drop it in and the pom-pom comes out. And this is to see if they can get the pom-pom in all the cups. It won't work every time, so that's why it's a game. Here's blue. Okay. Pick one. One. Okay. Okay. Now, you're going to put it in the hole and watch where it goes. Whoa! Again! Whoa! Again! Cammy, up here, Bob. Good job, Cammy Jam. Look, it goes up here. Can you reach? Up there. Good job! Now, here's the game for this one. You're gonna drop it in and try to get it through all the cups. Mm -hmm. I can. Go ahead. I can. I can. You gotta try to get it through all the cups. Cameron really likes this wall. Go for it. In we go. Whoa! <laughs> get so much joy out of it. So simple. Fun, fun, fun for all. All right, so for our next activity, I just cut up some lemons and some limes. I'm gonna throw it in the water with the hose. And the boys, okay. The boys have to use all the different utensils. I got one. That's it, and you put it on your plate. Now you can use all different types. I got the spatula, the spoon, tongs, so let them explore. Pick out as many lemons and limes as possible. It's like 
bobbing for apples. I did, Mom. You got it. Yeah. Go for it. Good job, Ty. You got how many did you get? Me. Two. Three. Very good, kid Ty. Very good, Ty. Can I do a three? How many did you get? Whoa. How many did you get, Alex? Um, two. Two. Very good. And what kind of fruit is that? Do you know? Melon. Melon. It's a lemon and a lime. The green one is lime, and the yellow one is lemon. This is an activity that would really do well with Cameron, but Cameron is napping, so when he gets up, he's going to do it too. But super simple, outside activity, great for summer. It really enlightens their sense of smell. As soon as I cut them up, they were like, oh, what is that smell? So expand upon that. Cameron woke up and now he's gonna try. <laughs> trying to work the tongs. Let them explore. This is really a good activity for his age. He's about two and a half. What is that, Cameron? That's a lime. Can you get it with the spatula? Good job, you got it. What color is that? Green. Green. Very good, Cam. Excellent. What color is that? Yellow. Yellow. Okay. Here's some straws. Here's a red one. Feel how spiky that one feels. Okay, Ty, look. You have to thread it through. Cam, look. You got to try and thread it through the straw. Okay? Go ahead. Get out! You did it! Okay, keep trying. This is a much harder activity. Try and thread it through. Can you do it, Ty? Not like that. Like Alex. Look at Alex. You got to keep it straight. You got to keep it straight and put it through the straw. Alex, can you show Cam? Uh huh. Cam, you blew it. Look. To the straw. Go ahead, Cam. <laughs> Ty, can you get it? Oh, you got it! Pull it all the way through. Go ahead, you do it. Yeah, put it through the straw. Yeah. Go ahead, put it through the straw, put it in the hole. You got it, Cam. <gasps> you got it! See? As you can tell, this one takes a lot more concentration, a lot more coordination, but it is really good. I got these spiky pipe cleaners as well, so there was different textures and then different colors and let them just pull it through the straw. So it is a learning gross motor skill sensory activity. Alex, what was your favorite activity we did? Um, the rice. The rice. Ty, Ty. Tyler. Good job, Ty. Double ends, look at you, you got it. This is our last activity. And it's just a bean jar. I got black beans and lentils from Target. And then I have these little dollar store bugs. I know. Can I keep it in the tray? I got these dollar store bugs and I stuffed them in there. And then I just put some pom poms in there. Let them discover the textures. And then I took the solo cup from the wall and I just repurposed it. And then again, we use just regular household items to play. Go ahead, Cam. Let them explore all the different colors and textures, and then you can tell them to sort the colors. You like the beans? Yeah, the beans. What are you looking for, Alex? Oh, oh, Puckins getting my beans! Oh, the buggies are eating your beans. Oh, boy. So, super simple, super cheap. These bags of beans at, the, at Target were like $1.20. And then I had just dollar store bugs. And then what I had in the house, so simple, so easy. You can make these bins any way you would like. You can change it up. 
do seasonal. I picked bugs just because it was spring, summer. No, what, bud? No, it is spring, summer. You want? It is That's it, guys. That is the last of our sensory bins. Guys, that is it for today. We did a bunch of sensory activities, as you could tell. They were for all ages of toddlers, and they were super easy, simple. I hope you love them. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and press that red subscribe button down below, and we will be back soon. Bye.